How did they do that? Hello and welcome to a new episode of the How Did They Do That series. Today we are going to take a look on this famous effect in Alice in Wonderland, the big hat of the Queen. Off with his hat. So in this tutorial we simply have to resize the hat and make the neck look like it fits perfectly in the collar. But before we get started with my example, let's just quickly take a look on how they did it with a huge amount of money, big cameras and so on. Let's just quickly discuss the advantages of this technique and later on how you can do all of this without any money. Let's just take a look on this picture which I found on the internet. If we think about resizing the head, you directly think about drawing maybe a mask around the chin, around the neck and everything and simply resize it. But if we take a closer look, we see this nice white collar and this nice contrast here to the black dress. This couldn't be a coincidence and maybe they simply resized the head all together with the collar. And that is exactly what they did. So I just bring out a nice background here and I already have two different layers. One with just the body and the other one is the hat and the collar. And now I just have to resize the hat, but that's also not how they did it. Because if I now just resize the hat and make it maybe 200% large, it would just don't look that nice and not that sharp because we lose many, many pixels. So what they did is they didn't make the head larger, but the body smaller. And because they filmed in a 4K resolution and they shrink the body, they still have enough pixels for a full HD resolution. So let's quickly do this. We click on the body layer, hit the S key for scale and maybe make it about 75%. And now we just reposition everything and we are almost finished. The only thing which doesn't look that nice is this color here. And for that we just bring out a nice effect. We just go to the effects and presets here and type in mesh warp and bring it onto this Alice head layer. And what the mesh warp effect does is it generates this grid and we can now simply reposition the grid and the whole picture will get distorted in the same way like the grid. So now we can simply reposition this color here. Maybe bring it up here. And it already looks way nicer. And the last thing which they did is they simply cut it up the color that it looks like it sticks in the dress. So for that we simply pre-compose our layer. Just call this one the trick. Hit OK. Bring out the pen tool and simply mask out the rest of the color. Of course we have to invert this mask or we just hit subtract. And we can also feather this one pixel. And we are finished. Okay, we are not really finished because this is just one still frame. And I want to show you how you can do it without any costs, which means without a 4K resolution camera and without a custom made dress for our queen. So let's just do this one with no costs at all. So as I didn't had a 4K resolution camera, I quickly decided to film my model in front of a green screen in two different versions. So to avoid the scaling, I simply filmed my actor once closer to get just the head later on and once a bit further away with the camera so that I could use this body here. Of course, I use 100% of scaling each time. And I have already created some masks where I have cut it out the neck 
of my actress because I didn't want to spend the extra money for a large contrasted color. And as I scrub through this, you can see that the mask shape somehow always stays the same. You just have to reposition it every 10 frames or so. Okay, that's it for the body. Now the head. I haven't already keyed out this one because I simply wanted to show you a different keying method than in the other How Did They Do That episodes. So for this one, we don't take key light. And as we have a really nice green screen here, we can maybe get away with the color keyer. We have to click on the composition, effect, keying, color key. And now we just pick this green color and we have this green all around her. So we just increase the color tolerance till we get something that looks nice, about 60 maybe. And we feather the edge. Now we can maybe go a bit higher here to about 150. Okay, but now we have this spill all around her in her hair and on her white shirt here. And to get rid of that, we could use either a plugin, which is called Spill Killer. And you could simply apply this to green and play with the range. And you can directly see that the green disappears. But as many of you don't have this plugin spill killer, which comes together with the primate keyer, I'm going to show you another trick to get rid of this green. So we once again take the key light, bring it out here. Let's get rid of the spill killer. And for our color, we want to take the same color like we keyed out. So. If I take this color picker here and bring it up to the screen, boom, everything is gone away. So let me show you the before and after, with green, without green. Okay, and now let's just bring out our new body into this composition. So we go in here and take our body mask composition. We reposition this and quickly hide it. And now we really just draw a rough mask around the head because later on we can simply put everything of this in the new color here. And to do that, we once again take the mesh warp effect. We bring it to the head. And you can see that we need more rows and columns for this one because I want these lines to be somehow around her neck. We go to the rows and just bring them up until we have enough to play with around her neck. And this should be fine. And the columns also. Okay, and round 30 it looks also nice because now we have these lines here on her neck. And now we just make a keyframe and simply try to pack her large neck into the small collar. And you can take those handles here and everything which is behind the small version you can now simply drag under the small one. Maybe bring the head down a bit and once again go into the mesh warp. until everything looks the way you want it. 
Now you just have to go through the keyframes, adjust the mesh warp and you are finished. If we now take a look at the final composition, you can see that I simply recolored her hair. I just masked out the hair and changed the hue and saturation. And for her thin hip, here I used the liquifier effect. So let me quickly show this to you. Go to the body layer, effect, distort, liquify. And we can go in the warp tool options and make the brush as big as you need it. And now I can paint on here and give her this look of the red queen. So and that's it for this episode of the How Did They Do That series. Now just open up your After Effects and start resizing your heads. Mm -hmm.